Hey, what's up everybody? It's Mike here. Uh, so I just wanted to give a quick update about uh, what's going on with me recently and uh, what I've been up to. Uh, I was able to meet a really cool guy named Mike Mikowski through the National Space Society, which uh, I recently joined. And uh, I did a little interview with him that uh, he tells us about what he does uh, with a, a company that uh, has a few facilities here locally, which is Orbital Sciences. And he helps to build satellites for them. He talks all about that that you can find right here. If you just click right there, you can see the full interview with him. Here's a little bit of a clip. Hi, my name is Michael Mikowski. I'm an engineer currently working at Orbital Sciences in Gilbert, Arizona. I've had a long and fortunate career in, in aviation and aerospace. Um, I'm a graduate of the University of Arizona back in 1977 with a degree in electrical engineering. And I got a master's degree at Washington University in, in 83 in St. Louis. Uh, I started out at McDonnell Douglas back in the late 70s. And I worked on a number of uh, unmanned space programs and shuttle programs and some other things there in St. Louis. Uh, when McDonnell Douglas St. Louis was winding down their space activities, I transferred out to an office they had uh, near Washington, D.C., near NASA Goddard. And we did some work for Goddard there in the mid-90s. Uh, then there was an opportunity. I had family in Arizona, and we had an opportunity to uh, do some work for Motorola on the Iridium satellite program here in Phoenix. And so I took a transfer out to Phoenix in the late 90s, still with McDonnell Douglas, which then became part of Boeing. And I uh, worked on Iridium for a few years. And when that program ran down, uh, a lot of the people from there went over to a company called Spectrum Astro, based in Gilbert, Arizona. And I've been with that organization ever since. Now, of course, it's been under a couple of different uh, ownerships since then. Uh, Spectrum was sold to General Dynamics. So again, you can catch the full video here, and uh, I had a really great time with him, and there's a lot of other interesting things that we talked about in that, so check that out if you have the time. Um, but Mike Mikowski has been busy at work putting together um, our Yuri's Night party, our official one that uh, has been registered with the Yuri's Night, and uh, we're going to be celebrating it on uh, Saturday the 9th. I, I know it's not quite the 12th, but it's, since it's the weekend, that's the best time that we think we'll get the most amount of turnout. Now there's going to be two separate events that we're going to be doing, one of which is during the day. And it's more like an education outreach type of event. And we're going to have several speakers there that uh, I think are going to be uh, pretty interesting. First of all, Mike Mikowski is going to be giving the presentation about Yuri Gagarin's historic flight and uh, kind of give a whole uh, basic history of the whole space race between the Soviets and the Americans. And then after Mike's presentation, we're going to hear from a shuttle astronaut, Bill Gregory, and he's going to talk about uh, the past 30 years of the space shuttle and all the awesome things that we've been able to accomplish with that. And then after him, we're going to have a, a, a presentation about Mars and a history of the different robotic landers and uh, orbiters and the future of the exploration of Mars. And that presentation is going to be given by Jim Bell, who's an ASU astronomer and also the president and board of directors of the Planetary Society. And the final presentation is going to be a description of the educational programs available at the Challenger Space Center, which is in Peoria, Arizona. And that presentation is going to be given by Kari Silva, uh, who is the executive director at the Challenger Space Center. After that, they're going to have a uh, panel discussion followed by a Q&A. And this whole day event that we're going to be putting on is going to be held at uh, an orbital sciences f facility in Gilbert, Arizona. And then after that, that night, um, uh, Saturday night, uh, we're going to have a little party get-together at the Grace Inn where the Space Access Conference is being held. And uh, I'm actually going to be attending this Space Access. It's a three-day event um, that has mostly suborbital companies like Mastin and Armadillo Aerospace 
and up aerospace and, and several others but it includes the bigger ones as well like spacex and others um, and they're going to be talking about uh, uh where their current progress is and what their current achievements are especially if they have any sort of cc dev or cots programs and uh, they're just going to be giving us a current update on where their companies are and uh, that's gonna, it's going to be really exciting. I'm really excited for it. And uh, I'm going to be taking as many pictures and doing as many uh, uh, interviews and uh, recording the presentations as much as I can. And on the last day of the conference is when we're going to hold our party that night. And uh, I think it's going to be awesome. I think it's, we're going to have a lot of fun. And I'm really looking forward to it. So that's what's going on with me. Um, look forward to, in the future to whatever material I can get from uh, this whole conference. And if you happen to be in the local area, if you're in Arizona, in, in Gilbert or Mesa, um, please come out to our events that we're going to have. The educational one's going to be really cool, especially since we have the shuttle astronaut and all these ideas about uh, the future plans for Mars and stuff like that. If you're interested in coming, the Orbital Sciences Facility is located on 1405 North Fiesta Boulevard, Gilbert, Arizona. And uh, uh, it's uh, for anywhere from, it's, uh, from 10 a.m. our local time until noon. So if you can come out to that, that'd be great. And then uh, the Grace Inn is, I don't have the address in front of me, but it's off the I-10 in Elliot. So if you just look up the Grace Inn on uh, Wikipedia, I mean, not Wikipedia, Google. You can find the location there on the, the Google Maps. Uh, and you can find more information for that night party on uh, the Unity's Night website. Just look up for the Phoenix area party. And we're the one that's going to be hosted by the National Space Society, or NSS. And if you can come out to either of those events, that'd be great. Love to see you. I'm going to be there, so uh, we'll be able to chit-chat and say hello. Um, so come out to that. And uh, for the rest of you, uh, like I said earlier, uh, just uh, keep your eye out for the uh, information and videos that I'm going to be getting from uh, the Space Access. And I'll see you next time.